Hello, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to the next episode of Fish Spider Industries, and you have approximately five seconds to guess where I'm going to land, you win ten Rage, I can points of awesome if you do- Oh, if everyone who guessed the volcano, you are correct! I really doubt that any of you actually guessed the volcano, in fact, you probably didn't even process the request to guess where I'm going to land in time for you to successfully make a guess, never mind an accurate one, but nevertheless, I thought I'd start this episode with abject panic, because, you know, start as we mean to go on. Not that the rest of the episode is going to be filled with abject panic, it just cuts to real life, the apocalypse is happening, people are- the apocalypse is happy? Guys, the apocalypse is happy, he's, he got out of a bad relationship with the apocalypse, but he's finally managed to move on, he's found- he's found someone new, and the apocalypse is happy, he's stopped raining terror upon us all, and it, it's just heartwarming to know that someone like him can come back from such a dark place. I don't even know what I'm talking about, really. So, Fish Spider Industries! I'm at the top of the volcano because, of course, I'm going to- I've just finished my session of sacrificing various things to the volcano to appease the god Terak the Thule. Now that he is a piece, I can continue building in peace, and hopefully nothing will go wrong. I appease you, hey, la misa, hey, appeasing, yes, Koopa. Okay, so that's the appeasing chant gone, done. I don't really know what I'm talking about. So, a lot has happened. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been awesome with awesome, awesome. You guys have been just absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless with your spider submissions. I got about 70 of them and you guys are great I took inspiration from all of them and just you wait I don't know why I said it like that. It's just really Really weird actually. It's just like, imagine if you were walking down the street and Suddenly like from behind you in the shadows you heard just you wait You would absolutely hit the deck and be terrified Oh my god. So you gotta go through the water. Through the water? Why this water? What I came up with there? That's not what I wanted at all. You gotta go through the forest and the trunk and the... You know the drill, okay? You know the... Because mm, drill. Ha! <laughs> Good. What am I talking about? Fish Spider Industries. I know what I'm talking about. Going to play. I just... I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna deliberately, right... Walk down the street, hide in, hide in dark places. Hide in dark places, that's better than what I nearly said, which was hide in dark places, which is a little bit weird, given the connotations. So, are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? You saw a little, little sneak peek there, but I have finished the Spider Queen, or at least a 90% of it. Are you ready? Are you ready to find out what your overlord looks like? What's your new apocalypse leader? The, the apocalypse leader? Is that a thing? That should be a position. This should be someone hired to be the apocalypse leader. In case of emergency, they, I'm just, like, really stalling here, aren't I? I should probably just show the Spider Queen. Okay, I really am gonna go hide in shadows now. No, I'm not gonna be Batman though. Imagine if Batman was really camp. Where is she? <laughs> it would just be a lot less. I'm gonna show you. Boom! Yes, indeed. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I have finished constructing the Spider Queen that was half combined with the CEO, aka me, and I am really happy with the results. We've got an awesome, massive abdomen, right, going on with two little spikes coming out the side, maybe a redstone area. We've got a lovely spiked legs coming out of the wall the way, because I realize the spider has four legs, but I'm counting the arms as one of the legs because, you know, it's mutated. So there's only three leg legs, and then the other two arms count as the other two limbs. So we've got the legs lovely spread out. I really, like, I really like how this turned out. I think it looks really cool, and she just fits in. And what I like is that this underground bunker thing is directly under here, which opens up some cool boss fight pro possibilities and then finally we have the centauri fronty bit we've got the arms which are blocky and you'll see why you'll see why we've got the arms We've got, like, shoulder armor and everything. We've got the mandibles. And then, look! So, the Spider Queen is inside this sort of helmet thing. But it's not actually a helmet. It is part of her. But the helmet, ladies and gentlemen, is the reminiscent of the square of my skin. So, it, that's a really neat idea. Yes, indeed. So, everyone who I took inspiration from, there was loads of you. But I'd like to point out a few of you. Uh, Imprint Dragon. SS, if I say initials, it's because you didn't have an alias in the email, so I'm, I don't want to just say your name in front of everyone. You probably wouldn't appreciate that. So, SS, Awesomeness at the Peak, Spat Cirque, AS, Oshawott666, RR, and many, many others, including Dynamo Tom, who drew a really lovely sketch of the Spider Queen that I took a lot of inspiration from. But you guys were awesome. You really all did a fantastic job. Everyone I've mentioned will get a curatorship. Yes, indeed. So, there you go, everybody. What do you think of the Spider Queen? She's the queen of all things spiders. I thought this creeper was wearing sunglasses. Oh, look at that shit. Sunglasses, but it turns out it's no, it's just horrific. Now, what I actually accidentally did do 
was make a massive hole in this cave. And I'm not really sure how I did... Why is it timing me? Why is... Why is the game timing me? And why, why is it stuck on 113? Redstone guy! Redstone guy! Redstone- Sound the alarm! Sound the horn of redstone! It's like the horn of Gondor, but distinctly less cool! It's like- How would the horn of redstone go? That was the worst. It was supposed to be like electrical circuit. Like, sound the alarm! That just- Wow, what am I doing? So, I've added lava from the ceiling. As a lot of you pointed out, it looks a lot more realistic. Now that the lava looks like it's actually coming from somewhere. And then over here, I've done something really cool that you can see. I'm really happy I came up with this idea. But look, how cool is this? You get in here, and it's just like, Oh my god, look at the- I fucked up. I fucked right up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really, really okay. Good, good! And you see the spider queen, you're like, Oh my god, I've got to kill that! No! I really- just enjoy placing blocks. It's just good. It's just good. So, over here, what I thought would be cool is to have, like, a tree that's grown through the cave, and these are its roots, and it's bringing the vines down, and that gives a reason for this vine wall to exist, which is how you get up to the eggs, and these are all the eggs, these black squares, because I don't know how to put ender dragon eggs in the game, because I'm really bad at Minecraft, so you gotta get up here and burn them all down, and that's good, that's gonna be part one of the fight. Jeez, did you like that? Those things coming out, and what this, what, what this, what this, what this, what this made me think of, guys, what this made me think of is what what if, right, what if, because this also helped by the fact that I had a hole in the roof of the cave, which I realise I've just fixed, but you've got a tree coming through and a hole in the roof of the cave above the queen. What if the spider queen, towards the end of the fight, walked on top of the cave? Because the tree is around here. So if I actually built a tree, let me go into the cave so I can actually get some relevance. So if this was the tree, let me, gra let me grab some wood real quick. <laughs> so if this was the tree actually growing on, maybe I should just leave it as decoration, but I kind of like the idea that for some reason a massive monster tree has grown on the top of this cave somehow, because it's been abandoned for so long and there's science in the air and experiments causing stuff to happen and things like that, and then there's just a massive, like obviously I'm not going to build it, I'm not going to spend 20 minutes placing wood, because I think really there's been enough of that recently with the Cora quick build where I just built a massive tree for 12 minutes and you know generally speaking it's not the best because you watched me like build a cave really well you didn't watch me build a cave did you watch me build a cave I don't really know what's going on and I don't really know what's going on but I'm gonna impromptu sing a song and then rhyme song with song and then song with song again while I'm flailing for lyrics placing wooden blocks I don't know what my life is um what the fuck? So, imagine a really massive tree on here, and then the spider queen crawls out on top of the cave, and he's like, stood on this cave, and you've got to use the tree somehow to finish her, like the final phase of the fight. Let me know what you think about that. I think it's just a really, like, neat idea. Why is there time on my screen? I need the redstone guy, but the horn isn't working. I've got a new idea for the horn. Kulomo. Did it work? I'd be so freaked out if it said Redstone Guy has joined, mainly because this isn't multiplayer. That would be, although it would just prove his prowess as Redstone Guy. I guess that horn doesn't work. Let me try another one. No, static doesn't work. Fine, fine, I'll stop trying horns. I see how it is, I see how it is. So there's also this back bit here that I don't really know what to do with, but looks like it might be good for something, but I do want to finish off the Spider Queen, because although she's looking rather good, I think we could make it look a little bit better. Mainly, I want kind of a decoration on the side of this. I did want the question mark, but there's not enough block space to do a question mark, but I do kind of want some more sort of spiky elements going along the back. Maybe not there, because that gets rid of the thing, and why is just, just why is this? What is life? Maybe across the back, because just adding these everywhere just generally makes it look a little bit cooler, because you know, you got it covered. And what I thought would be really awesome as well is if part of the fight now because I had to delete a lot of the cave going up in order to make it so the spider queen could fit in nicely you see this pressure plate here now what I thought would be cool about this pressure plate is if you press this you get eaten by her so you can kill her from the inside so imagine if I was to say delete these two and then look this is the inside of the spider queen now if I replace those two there we go so there we go. So there so there we go. So there we go. So there we go. So there we go. So 
there we go. So, there we go. So, there we go. So, there- I wonder how many of you thought your YouTube video had broken. I bet- I, I know what you're thinking. God, come on, Rage. No one bloody thought that. But I- I actually think that maybe you did. So what I think would be cool is if you get into here, you're like, Oh, I'm falling down into Spider Queen Lay! Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh! And then she's gonna have, like, there's gonna be a digestive, juicy stomach. Digestive, juicy stomach! Oh yeah! So you land on this pressure plate, and then this pressure plate takes you to maybe to decorate, decorate, decorate the inside of the stomach. Oh, we could have like no, she wouldn't have web inside her. That would be a little bit weird if there was just web going on here. No, but we want it to be a little bit darker. So I need to cover up the glowstone. Otherwise, it's just a little bit too on the bright side. Come on, come on, I can do it. Where's the last glowstone? Is there a last glowstone? The last glowstone. Oh, this looks cooler though, because it's more constricted, so you might actually fall a little bit weirder, especially if we put, like, more water everywhere. So, like, say it's there, and you, like, suddenly... Oh, that's why. That's why there's a bit of light still. Ah, okay, so you're, like, there, and you're like, oh, God, what's going on? Am I being eaten? Oh, no, I've been eaten. What is my life? No! And you're, like, make those no sounds like the phantom of the opera is no... And then we got that, and then that's cool, and you like slowly drift down, land on that pressure plate in pitch, pitch, pitch blackness, pitch blackness, there we go, see how cool is that, you get in by the spider queen, and then once you go on there, you teleport over here, I love idea episodes, showing you progress, and then ideaing you, and then you go into her abdomen, yes indeed, so say you arrive around here, and then you have to do various things in, just in the thing, in the thing, you know what I'm saying, in the thing. The thing that you don't know the reason. I don't really know what I'm on about at this point anyway. So let's get a villager. Because I just want like an easter egg at the very least. That there's just a villager just chilling inside the... Oh yeah, I'd forgotten that they're employees. Never mind having an easter egg. Because of this texture pack, they're all employees. Which meant that we could like have them just like consumed by the spider. And then we'll have... I realize the spiders don't digest in their abdomen, but, you know, for the sake of a bit of continuity, I think it might be fun that you get teleported to here and you end up seeing all these employees of yours being completely digested by the spider queen. I feel like that might be a little bit of fun, because, I mean, imagine you've arrived here, you teleported in, you're like, holy shit, what is going on in here, guys? Because that might, rescuing, or rescuing your employees might be one of your acts of redemption, because, remember, the, the secret, super secret story is that it turns out the main character is normal rage. Stop it, villager, I open a trade store. Stop staring at me, you weird people. You're all so weird. Get away from me. Get a- get a- I just want to place the water. You, oh, you suck. You suck so much. So maybe you have to rescue them by coming over to here, placing a dynamite, and blowing a hole in the Spider Queen's abdomen. The water flows out, they all flow out, and you've saved it. And that injury is what makes her, like, re recoil and go on top of the cave for the final battle. That might be really, really sweet. Yes, indeed. So if I come back up here... And replace that. So we'll have that as like, that would be cool. I do like this idea of having to like go through her innards. And then what I think would be also cool is that if we got over here and made that and this dispense various spiders and arrows and stuff, you know, while the fight's going on. And then we can also have maybe over here. I realize spiders don't lay eggs from their thorax, but you know, we're taking liberties in this genetically mut mutated thing. We can also have one there. You know, basically, I just want her to be laying a lot of spiders. I like how the zombies are like, I know they're in there. I know they're in there. Oh, look, it's a zombie family day out. We got Terry, zombie dad, who is just chilling. He, he's cool. He's got a sense of humor. I mean, look, he loves zombies. He, he knows what's up. He's into the ironic t-shirts. He's really quite cool. And then he's with his two kids. We got Perry and we got Harry over here. And he's like zombie in training because, ah, oh, he's a kid and he's still growing up. And look at them. Look how much alike they are. It's a beautiful, wonderful family relationship. And then we got here, who also loves zombies. He just wants to be like his dad, Terry the Zombie. They're both really good. They've both played the game Dev Tycoon Zombicles game, and they both really liked it. They loved High School Japan Zombicles. And then this guy, he's also a zombie in training because he's a special one. He was recently in zombie prison for assaulting Terry the Zombie, and he got out. So he's having to be re inhibited English failure. Re-inhibited into zombie capacity. Why can't I speak my sentence? 
re-inhabilitated into zombie society with the help of his good but kind of odds with each other friend Terry and his two kids. So in order for that to happen, they're going on a day out visiting Spider Queen and they realise that she digested a lot of villagers. So they're now hanging underneath, waiting for something to happen and then they can enjoy a nice friend family feast upon the brains of the innocents and then they'll all be, you know, closer, bonded together. They'll be a tighter knit zombie community and look, Terry's happy, he's half smiling. He's got a really nice half smile on his mouth, the kids are happy. I mean, this kid is a little bit insane because he is bald, he's got a bald look going on, but you know, it's Terry, Terry's a good father, Terry respects his kid's decision to be bald if he wants to, he, he, he can leave his hair behind, because he doesn't care if the hair's behind, he's still a friend of his, it's great, they have a loving relationship to the two zombie kids, and then the brother, the younger brother over here, Harry the zombie now, is, is jealous of his older brother, he is, so he also wanted his hair bald, just so he'd fit in at school, these poor kids don't realise how much they're going to get torn apart by all this baby skeletons and baby creepers when they go to Monster Minecraft High School. But Terry is preparing for them. He keeps mentioning every now and then that they might want to think about growing hair. He's not rubbing it in too much. He's being subtle. He's using the help of his friend. He's Greg now. He's, he's called Greg now. Names don't, names aren't important. Zombies don't care about names. And you see over here, little little mini Terry. He, he likes Greg. He's, he's good. He sees Greg as a badass. He respects the fact he's been in prison. He doesn't really understand. He's only a kid. He doesn't understand crime in the zombie society. And the, the crime that he commit was an abhorrent one. He ate another zombie and everyone in zombie society knows like vampires, you don't eat another of your monster kind. But he got hungry and he was lazy. He couldn't get to the fridge. The fridge was locked. He was out of flesh. I mean, what could he do? Could happen to anyone. He was a little, just a bit on the lazy side. So he had a, he had a zombie. See, Terry used to have three kids. Now, that's the really tragedy. Which is why they were on with each other. He was his best friend for so long, but then he ate one of his kids. Now, zombies aren't the sentimental, so he wasn't that mad. But he was a little you know, a little, a little pissed off. You don't eat someone's kid and expect them to be okay with it. I mean, Terry's zombie wife, Samantha, is just, she's furious. I mean, she still has a lot of human emotions. It's a rare, rare condition in zombies. She's having therapy. She realizes she's a freak, but she really cared for that kid. So she left Terry because Terry didn't kill Greg over there. He's Greg now. And really just caused a whole breakdown in the relationship. But it's okay because the kids, the kids understand. The kids respect both parents' point of views. The kids didn't even like their younger brother, Timmy. They wanted to kill him long time ago, so to them, Mr. He's Harry now. Harry friend, Greg's friend. Names, again, just not important. So they, they look up to him. They're kind of happy that they got rid of Timmy. When they're older, they'll of course realise that the error of their ways, that it was just silly, petty sibling rivalry and that they never got to know and grow up with their little brother. But it's okay because the amazing dad that Greg is over here will coach them through it. He will reconcile. He's trying his best to win back their mother. He wants the family to be strong again. He wants what's best for his zombie children. That is the story of Terry and his zombie day out waiting for the, waiting for the villagers to come down. They're all trying to get on in life. They have their problems, as we all do, and we should respect that they are working on it and trying their best to fit in again. Good. So, that's that's the story of... that. What was I doing? Built fish spider and just because the I was doing the thing, and that's what I wanted to do to round off the episode. I remember now. So, <laughs> Placing blocks in Minecraft. Fish Spider Industries makes me say the weirdest things. So, everything's pretty planned out. So, the lava in the cave makes it hard to navigate. You've got to get over here, destroy the eggs. Now, what I wanted to do is make an actual reason for coming in here. Now, what that reason should be is what I thought is down here. Look, I excavated a little bit of a tunnel. Now, what this tunnel does, I'll make it a little bit bigger as we go through, just to make it a little bit more encompassing, because you don't want it to be too much of a tight squeeze. You want to be able to make sure you can handle the entire thing. Well, that was just too deliberately, wasn't it? <laughs> so you get to here, and you're like, okay, cool. Got to leap over this lava without taking fire damage. And then look, you've made it to this, where you can get to the Spider Queen and start the fight. Now, this is only if you don't notice the secret, which allows you to jump on top of here and go through here to start the spider fight. I've got a little bit of a trap there, and I'm probably going to add a little bit more. I want this... It is a secret, but I do want it to be the most difficult way round. So you get to here... And then you're like, oh, cool, I've made it to the Spider Queen. In fact, maybe this bit might be required, because you can make it onto the legs of the Spider Queen, jump over to maybe the other leg, and, you know, can you even make it to that? Okay, so you can't make it to that, but that's fine. So you jumped on the lever of the Spider Queen, and maybe there's, like, a button here or something, and you got to blow each of the legs off, and you really, really cripple her. Well, think of the, think of the ones, I need to have a talk with Redstone Guy, see what he's actually capable of me doing, and then I'll come up with a boss fight for probably next episode. Yes, indeed. So, also the tree thing. 
thing, and that's good. So yeah, so what I want you to do is make sure that this is for getting through here. Now to do that, it needs to be almost impossible to get there without going through that, which means I just need a lot more lava in the general surrounding area to make it very, very difficult and un like unwise, really. The old man of of Mr. Pi, the old man of Mr. Pi, who the fuck? The old man of Mr. Pie, he goes round serving pies to everyone and they tolerate him because he's old, but they don't like him really. I really, really know what I'm going on. So it's pretty much impossible to get to that place without doing the parkour and going through that now. So that's fine. That is fine. So I just want to make that look a little bit more natural because it's bugging me how much it doesn't. There we go. Cool. So that's good. So you go up here, you can also kill the eggs. See, the thing is, you also can get to this place from killing the eggs, which is all right because you might not notice it and you might just jump onto here and going in here anyway. I just want to offer multiple paths because I want it to be a natural cave that wouldn't just be coincidentally one way through the cave. So yeah, I realize I've not actually built a lot this episode. I probably should have built more of the Spider Queen on camera. My bad. When I get into something, I kind of just do it and I was just building and I looked up and I was like, shit, I did it. And, you know, but I do like being able to show you a lot of progress to show that stuff does happen. There's probably only a few episodes left, ladies and gentlemen, before the whole area is complete. And I will start my It's Complete competition because it's going to be glorious. So any other ideas you guys have? So right now, you go in here. It, the Spider Queen's like, ah, oh, kill him! And then you're like, no, I'll kill your babies! And she goes over here, you burn her babies, and she's like, no, my babies, you burn them! And you go through there, drop in that hole, go through to the Spider Queen herself, and she's like, I'll kill you! She starts laying spiders like crazy, you have to systematically kill, like, weak points, because maybe what I thought would be cool is the fact that you can get underneath her, it might be cool to run underneath and have to shoot various, like, weak points as you go, while fighting the spiders that she's consistently dropping on you, if we have more ways of them spawning down. We don't have to be realistic about anatomy. And then we have that, like, the insta-death thing that she does that you need to run into here that I discussed last time, you know, using the various cave networks to achieve things. Maybe you should have to go into the cave networks to retrieve items that help you in the fight. The actual logistics of how you kill her, getting to this room is pretty much sorted, but I just need to work through the logistics of how to kill her. But let me know what you like about the progress, if you think the Spider Queen looks worthy as a final boss now. Yes, indeed. And yeah, that'll do for today. My name is Mary. I would like if you enjoyed this. Ah, oh, the zombies still enjoying their day out. Oh god, what is what is wrong with me? Oh goodbye. So many things, I know, I know.